Okay, take a look at this. It looks like any other apartment on Com Ave in Austin, but the band that is Aerosmith was born here. And before last night's concert at Fenway, frontman Steven Tyler made a surprise visit. Some people living there didn't know the building's history, but as WBZ's Rachel Holt shows us, they'll never forget it now. Residents thought they were dreaming on Wednesday night. And there's Steven Tyler. When Steven Tyler made a surprise appearance at 1325 Commonwealth Ave in Alston. He goes up to the, the steps right there, starts taking pictures, and we're all cheering. And he's like, bring it on, like he wanted more cheers. He was so friendly. Roommates Katie Cotter and Lindsay Foley reliving the sweet emotion. They just moved in last week. It was really, really cool. I think it's something that I'll tell people forever. Like, hey, my first week in Boston, I met Steven Tyler. The Aerosmith lead singer visiting his old apartment ahead of the band's concert at Fenway Park Thursday night. Some residents unaware of the building's rock and roll ties. It wasn't like an advertised thing, but I saw the plaque on the door a few days ago, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. But um, no, we didn't know. <laughs> Others walking this way to take photos. 1325. Now show me your shirt. <laughs> we wanted to see where Aerosmith started, where the band got their roots. The building is nicknamed the Aerosmith Apartment. The original band members living here from 1970 to 1972. And according to the plaque outside, the track Moving Out is about leaving these walls behind. Back in 2012, the band played a free concert outside the apartment. This appearance a little more understated. And while one resident didn't want to miss a thing. So we slept through it. <laughs> unfortunately, she did. We couldn't even believe it. We were like, well, we heard the yelling, but we didn't really think it was Steven Tyler in front of our building. <laughs> why, why would you? <laughs> yes. Rachel Holt, WBZ News. <laughs> I love that. That is so cool. It's amazing that he went before the show because anyone who was driving last night around the time yeah. they were playing knows traffic was really bad, so I'm just yeah. glad he made it to I'm guessing way. he had a driver and he's like, hey, I want to go there first. And they're like, what? what? We have a concert in two hours. It's nice that he did. That was very cool.